Hello, welcome ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in live on the scoop as to what's going down with Dixon Workout and their nationwide scam. I'm your host, Nikki, coming to you live from New York City. I am the whist- I am professional whistleblower. I teach and train and educate consumers on to what to look for when it comes to business scam, credit card scams, and all these other scams and frauds out in the streets. I professionally, for a living, rat people out for doing the wrong thing. And it's not just like, oh, I parked, you know, double parked on the side and I didn't, you know, pay my ticket. You know, nothing crazy, silly like that. I'm talking about major life-changing scams that cause you to lose hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars, a lot of time, energy, and resources. And to the point that it will not only get you potentially locked up and thrown in jail, but maybe you will lose your job because you're affiliated with these type of brands and these corporations. And I wanted to share with you today as to what's going down and what's going So as I shoot this broadcast, if you notice today's date is December 29th, 2017 at 3.27 p.m. So right now we're looking at the Vixen Workout New York City Class Pass account. Now Class Pass is basically a... Um, a page where they promote and they advertise different classes. And for a monthly fee, you get access to all the studios that's listed on their database. So if based, so in other words, like if you were to become a member, you pay a one flat rate fee and you'll get to take all these classes that's listed on their database in your city. Um, they have, oh, they have multiple locations like New York and Atlanta and LA and Vegas and Florida. So, you know, you will definitely get your money's worth. Um, if you're if you're type if you're that type of person, I like to take classes and workouts. So right now, um, what's happening is um, I've sent out some information to ClassPass directly. I have notified them that Vixen Workout is running a scam, that they're defrauding people, and they're manipulating them and using their um, platform to continue to defraud more victims and more consumers. Now, one thing about me is something that I want you to be clear of. I just want to share this disclaimer. Anything that I say on this YouTube channel, I have no problem saying to people's faces. Let me be clear on that because my face is on this YouTube channel and I tell you I'm from New York City. So if I'm trying to hide, I wouldn't disclose that information. Number two, um, everything that I say, I have documented proof of what I say. So it's not just me making it up just to be mean and vindictive. This is because I have personally been scammed by Dixon Workout Corporation. I have been defrauded by Janet Jones herself multiple times. And I'm at a point where it's been like at least three to four times where I'm like enough is enough because the first two times people do something sketchy or something that doesn't make sense. You can keep you know, you give them a slide, you don't make a big deal about it. But when you keep doing it over and over and over and over and over again, it's like enough is enough. And I called her out on her foolishness and she got mad because I was, you know, informing the world that she was running a scam. And then she tried to blacklist me and make up these lies and rumors and paint me out to be a monster. She made a cyberbullying page about me. She made death threats towards me, um, threatening to kill me if I don't, if I go to the press, which I did anyway, because I'm from New York. It's like, really, you're going to threaten to kill me? Like, do I look like I'm scared go go try it because even if you were to be successful I'm being honest somebody may retaliate if you try to you know fulfill your actions and actually murdering me like that's dumb but anywho um I also filed complaints with the Better Business Bureau the state attorney general's office I filed complaints with the FBI and multiple other city and state agencies in regards to this nationwide scam um so because of that, um, oh, what else she did? Oh, yeah, she sent people to my home. She gave out my home address. A customer, she gave out my home address to people, and she sent people to my house to rape me. She sent people to my child's school to try to kidnap him to stop me from appearing on a Dr. Phil show. And then she also sent people to my job to assault me and, and, and beat me up because I was taking her on, because I was going to the news and telling the press about the scam that she's involved with and how I was robbed. So... There's a lot of things that this woman has done behind the scenes. And when that didn't work, then she tried to paint that she's a victim and I'm harassing her and I threatened her and I posted a picture of a gun and all this bullshit that she's making up. And it's like, let me be clear. Ain't nobody no keyboard gangster over here. You want to come see me? You can see me. You know where I'm at. I'll tell you in, my fa- in your face the same thing I'm saying online. So I don't have to hide behind no computer to say what I need to say. Those that know me 
know that I don't play games. I don't let nobody manipulate me. I don't let nobody attack me. I don't let nobody take advantage of me. I stand up to bullies for a living. That's what I do. The worst thing that you can do, and I tell people all the time, is the worst thing you could ever do is lie on me, manipulate me, lie, lie on me, manipulate me, and steal my money and try to hurt me. I mean, physically. That's the worst thing you could do, you know. And she's done, att attempted all three, all of the above, and actually was successful with a few. So we're in the process of already filing a civil lawsuit against them um, for, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars. So in the meantime, I made this YouTube vid channel to inform the public what's really happening behind the scenes with Vixen Workout. Because the worst thing anybody can do is get started in this fraudulent business and then find out, oh, snap, like the stuff that Nikki's saying was true, and now you kind of like got to lose all your money because you got to dip. You know what I'm saying? Like, say yourself the headache and money and don't become a vixen workout instructor um actually we're going to do another video coming up soon where i can teach you and train you on how you can start your own fitness classes if you're interested you like vixen workout routines i can teach you and train you on how you can create your own fitness classes if that is the style of dance that you like because let's be 100 percent honest what vixen workout is doing and what janet jones is doing real talk like for the professional dancers that's watching if you look at some of the videos this is like that's not dancing let's some parts is like cool and other parts is like what the hell is that like are you in a marching band you know but it is what it is but what I say is, for those that truly want to start a dance fitness company or are interested in this style of dance, I, I'm going to do a video and show you how you can do your own, under your own name, with your own flexibilities, with your own rules and regulations, and not, have, and not get scammed. Because let's be clear, all you got to do is take up dance classes and you can do the same thing that Vixen does. Let's, I'm going to be 100% honest, and I'm going to give you some insight in another video. So now back to the class pass page. I've contacted class packs about fixing workout running a scam and how Janet is defrauding the New York City residents. I've also sent documentation of this statement, which means when I took Janet Jones to a small claims court, she filed an affidavit under the penalty of perjury with this statement, and I quote, I do not have a business in New York City. I don't operate in New York City. I don't have a business license in New York City. I don't t um, pay New York City taxes. I also only occasionally operate in New York City. Now you can see, you know, there's no classes listed now, but you know, because it's the coming to the new year. But if you go on their website, you've seen my other videos, you see that them niggas teach classes like four to eight times a week. So you can't sit there and BS and lie and say, I occasionally operate in New York City to the court and then continue to operate every single day. If you notice on their website, she listed her classes as Vixen Workout pop-up classes in New York City. This new name was created January of 2017 when we went to court for that small claims case, and it was dismissed. And it was only dismissed through the personal jurisdiction, which means I could not file in small claims court, but I can reopen the case in Supreme and Civil Court, which is what we're doing now. So this same documentation, this same affidavit that Janet Jones signed, the same documentation she submitted to court and a judge ruled in her favor, I'm going to use that against her, which means I'm going to send that whole affidavit, all five of them that Janet Jones signed, repeating the same thing, and send it to ClassPass. So ClassPass can see, oh snap, this chick really isn't really, she doesn't have a business in New York City. You know, she, and that's a huge violation to the terms and agreement of a class pass studio owner. Um, there's certain, you have to be a registered business owner in the state. You have to either live in the, in the business, in the, in the city that you're operating at, the business license in the, op, in the location you're operating at, um, as well as you have to be teaching 10 classes or more a month to be listed on class pass. Now you can see Janet Jones has a studio listed on, you know, class pass. Now, that's proof that you have more than 10 classes happening a month. Does that sound like occasionally having classes or does that sound like you have classes on a reoccurring basis? Either way, today we're sending the affidavit to ClassPass. 
We're going to let ClassPass know that this company is in violation of their terms of agreement, multiple violations. They haven't been registered. They haven't paid taxes. And they've been, you know, they don't have the proper licenses and documentations um, to be working in New York City. As well as she signed an affidavit swearing that all of this is true. Now, what's going to happen is the ClassPass legal team and executives, they're going to be confused. Like, why would you sign this affidavit saying that you don't operate in New York City, but you're listed on the studio as if you do operate in New York City and you signed our documentation and our agreement stating that you have a business in New York because we only register people who have studios locations in the state that the studio is listed as. Boom. So we're going to check back here in 30 days and we're going to see if not only the Vixen Workout Studio is still listed, because you see they have pro studios, that's Manhattan. What, 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 when you click on that, what opens up to? See, Pearl Studios, um, 508th Avenue, New York City. You know, they list this on their website that this is where they operate at. But yet in that affidavit, she states, oh, no, I don't. And then you have 63 ratings. These look kind of current, you know what I'm saying? So either way, what's happening is we're contacting Pearl Studio, not Pearl Studio, sorry. We're contacting Pass, and we're going to let them know that they've been running a scam and not only defrauding New York City residents, but also defrauding the ClassPass um, Corporation, because this is a huge liability for ClassPass. If ClassPass gets sued or gets caught up in a lawsuit because of the foolishness that Jenna Jones is doing and trying to be sneaky, they're going to be held liable. And if they're held liable, they're going to sue Janet Jones for the, diff for the money that they're out of. So here's the information, New York City, right? So I'm going to send them the affidavit, and then what's going to happen is, if everything goes according to plan, this link here will say not valid. It won't exist no more. That's number one. And if I'm really, really, really good at what I do, I mean, I know I'm, I'm capable of it, but if everything like really goes according to plan, I can get bonus points and get their Miami page shut down too. because. If you're violating their, their terms and agreements for your New York City studio, they're going to assume you're doing, they don't even want nothing to do with you. And they're going to be like, girl, you got to get out. So I, I know for sure Janet doesn't have a backup plan because she thinks, oh, I'm going to make up these BS lies and people are going to believe me. But let's be clear, you signed this affidavit stating that you do not have a business in New York City. And the date that you signed the affidavit you continue to teach New York City classes on a reoccurring three to six times a week. And ClassPass has a record of that. So they can see from their records, you've been uh, very consistent with hosting weekly classes. Now, once this is brought to their attention, let me be 100% clear, ClassPass is going to shut down the New York City class studio. And if everything goes according to plan, I may get some brownie points and get the Miami studio taken down too. Um, like I tell people all the time, I'm the worst person in the world that you want to piss off and lie to and manipulate. I've gave Janet two years to refund me my money. All she had to do is cut me a check. I was willing to settle for $3,500, $3,500. We could have settled this and moved on. And that's the amount she agreed to refund me. And I'd have had no problem taking that and keep it pushing. But then for you to continue with your lies, you're manipulating, you're stealing money from me, you know, you're fraudulently charging my credit card, you're sending people to attack me, and then you want to lie in court? I was like, what? This whole thing, she's slick. So now that she lied in court and she got out of one lawsuit, I'm going to use that statement, that affidavit, that she signed and got notarized and swore to, to court that under the penalty of perjury, perjury, everything on that document she wrote is true? No problem. We're going to use that against her. She stated she don't have a business in New York City. We're going to let class pass know she doesn't have a business in New York City. And in this situation, there's nothing she can really say because she's going to be damned if she do admit she lied in that affidavit because they're going to say, oh, snap, there was a lawsuit. You lied in this affidavit. If you can lie in that, you can lie in anything else. We're going to disconnect you. Or she can admit, or she can lie and say, no, I didn't write that. That's not my signature. And even if she does, they're going to be like, 
we got your signature on file, stupid. <laughs> you know, like you have to sign a document to get listed on ClassPass. They got your signature on file. So they're going to look at that signature and they're going to look at the signature on the affidavit. And they're going to ask you 501 questions. And they're going to be like, this hoe is lying. We got to get rid of her. So regardless, it's either ClassPass is going to shut down fix and Workout class immediately or they're going to give them the 30-day notice. Um, so I just wanted to share that, give you some insight so you can see what's going on. If there's another video after this, or if you're seeing this video, then it means my plan went according. Um, and, and, and the crazy thing is, there's nothing that Janet Jones can effing do about it. She can't do a goddamn thing about me reporting her to ClassPass for violating the terms of agreement because I'm using the same affidavit she used to get out of the lawsuit and I'm gonna hand it right over to ClassPass, just like I handed it over to PMT Studios <coughs> and Chelsea Studios and Danny Studios. And um, what was the other studio? It was Chelsea, Danny, PMT, and Wrigley Grid Studios. Um, and they like, eh, kill yourself. We want nothing to do with you. Because this is a legally binding document. And if you state that's true, they have no choice but to follow what it says to protect themselves. So I'm sorry, Janet, you lied on the wrong person and you lied to the wrong person. You should have been honest and say, you know what? I misrepresented myself. You know, let me refund this little girl her money and just move on. And you want to play, oh, she's trying to extort me. Why would I try to extort $3,000 from you? Let me be clear. I'm a six, seven figure type of person. <laughs> if I was going to do any extortion, it would be well in the seven figures. It, real talk. It would be in the seven figures. I don't know why people think. I remember the attorney, she tried to like, well, we can settle for a thousand dollars. And then after you take what she said, after you, you do X, Y, and Z, you know, take down your social media posts. We'll give you the other thousand. And I was like, Trick, who you talking to? I'm in sales. My degree is in marketing. I've been in business for myself for a decade. I am a master at negotiation. Do you think I'm some $2 holder that's going to take $1,000 and then be stupid to believe you after you already lied to me 500 other times that you're going to give me the extra thousand after I take down my social media posts about you scamming people? Girl, get a seat. So what happened was I had to, I told him like, listen, let's get that in writing. You're going to give me 3000 up front. You're going to put this in writing. And then what you're going to do is you're going to give me the check and I'm going to sign the documentation in the right, in the, in the, in the contract before you mail me the check. So that way you have that for your protection. And then once you cut me my check, I'll do what it says in the agreement. If I fail to follow the contract, you can stop payment on the check, right or wrong. But they want to be stupid and be like, oh my gosh, we're, we don't owe her no money. No problem. Remember you got, remember you said that on TV. You owe me no money. Remember that. I was very clear February 2015, um, February 19, 2015, 2016. It is cheaper and less stressful just to refund me my money. And now Janet Jones, unfortunately, have to reap the, uh, reap the, um, <laughs> reap the benefits <laughs> of how capable I am of following through on what I say. So when I say I'm going to shut people businesses down, I really mean I'm going to shut businesses down. This isn't something I'm talking about to be cute or just because I'm bored. Have you seen they not, they went from 10 studios to one, actually two studios. She had 10 studios and she's down to two, one in Miami, one in New York. Who you think is responsible for that? Me, 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 me. I am nice at what I do. I don't need to resort to violence. I don't need to threaten nobody because understand violence ain't gonna solve anything. But I will defend myself if somebody put their hands on me. But what I will do is to get you back is I'm gonna do exactly what you did, but in, in the form of you're gonna lose your money, your reputation, and your good name. Point blank, period. So I like to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the results. If you're watching this video, that means it went down. If you're not watching it, actually, I'm just going to post it. I don't care if they get shut down right now or not. I'm just going to post this video, and we'll, and, we'll, we'll, and, and we'll see what happens. And then if, it, if the page gets shut down, then I'll do a follow-up video. And if it doesn't, you know, I'll send the video to class pass and <laughs> be like, hey, listen, you're here. But overall, um, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned on the results of this scam.